All right, all right, Shalom, 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 Shalom. Before we get started, you know, as always, we're gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shad, Bashem, Rakhadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutation and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth that believe wholeheartedly in the true, the true doctrine of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shad, and the water. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for giving us this knowledge and opening up our minds to this truth that we may have the hope of salvation in these last days. Right? Um, uh, you see in the title, we just roll in the spirit, man. Various topics, whatever the spirit uh, feeds brothers, you know, we're going to bring it out. Of course, we're going to hit the scriptures, pull articles. But the hot topic, uh, earlier you had an earthquake in uh, Alaska. 7.0 earthquake that that shook Alaska and opened up the ground up there, right? And that's nothing more but visitation from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And the Lord is going to continue to visit the earth in in, in in biblical proportions in these last days, man. Because that's what He did to Alaska. Y'all brother seen the pictures, the the, the stores. Uh, 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 they, it was uh, it was on CNN. Or, or no, it wasn't seen. It was a uh, CBS Two News out here. Earlier, I was at I was at the car wash, and they showed the the, the, the studio. Yeah. Everything was trashed in there. Everything was on the floor. TVs broken. Roads the roads was opened up. up. The grocery stores, uh, food is all everywhere. People are uh, uh, scrambling to get get what they need. You know, state of emergency. And basically, it, it, it was on. Yeah. And, and when they woke up, they didn't know what was going to happen. It caught everybody off guard out there, man. And that's how the most high is going. That's how it's coming, man. That's right. You know? I know yeah. one. I know yeah, somebody I got, some, got it. I got some. Yeah. yeah. Hey, fire away. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is Isaiah 29 6. It says, right. uh, Thou shalt be visited of the, the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake. That's right. And, and with great noise. That's right, man. And that was a visitation. Of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, right. you know, that's how the Lord visits the planet Earth. Right, and Esau wants you to believe that the, the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai doesn't exist. That these, these are just random occurrences. And, oh well, you look, you look at the tectonic plates and things. Yeah. Right. No, but we understand it's the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that's making these things happen, man. Right? And it's ramping up in the spirit because why? Why do we know that? Because we will see in prophecies. Uh, uh, break down and unfold before our very eyes, man. That's right, man. The Lord is in control of all of these things, man. That's right. Man. Okay? It says, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. Oh, man. Just had the earth, the, the paradise destroyed by flame of devouring fire. That's right. And then you got Alaska getting smashed. You know, with the earthquake, so the Lord is visiting the earth. Mm -hmm. It ain't Mother Nature. Yeah, you know? right. right. It ain't, ain't no such thing as Mother Nature. It's called the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Through His Son, Yahweh Shad, man. All That's right? right? That's right. Come, I have to bring up a point. Yeah, yeah come, bro. Um, and the reason why we're seeing these things take place, of course, we understand we're at the very end. But the Heavenly Father has His men out here sighing and crying and speaking these things into existence, which we understand it was written. It's part of the algorithm that the Heavenly Father said. But he set us out here on these highways and byways to talk about these things. And now that we're seeing them come to pass. You know, I know brothers got free sense, but uh, whenever y'all get that, I got this one right here just going into, you know, all yeah. of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this is verse 7. It says, And the multitude of all the nations that fight against Ariel, even all that fight against her and her uh, munitions, and that distress her shall be as a dream of a night vision. It shall be as when a hungry man dreameth, and behold, he eateth, but he awaketh, and his soul is empty. Mm -hmm. Or as when a thirsty man dreameth, and behold, he drinketh, but he awaketh, and behold, he is faint, and his soul has appetite. So shall the multitude of all the nations be that fight against the Mount Zion. Man. Mm -hmm. So the, the Lord is going to devour these other nations, man. 
and, and, and you know, and that's how they, that's the mindset of these people. They think that America is going to stay. And right. you, you you got the dream, man. That's right. That's Jeez. right. God, you you gonna wake up to the reality that America's gonna be destroyed, man. Yeah. Right. We got some real quick. Uh, second, sorry, it's lack, it's lack. Mm-hmm. Second Ezra chapter eight verse fifty. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Hey, can I say that's happening now? Yeah. You know, even though he saw here in America, he don't put it on his news media, but you watch these other news media sites. There's so much. Shit happening on, on the planet. People are in distress. People are catching hell. The most high visiting this, this planet, man. More than what these average peons really uh, know, man. Yeah. Especially here in America, man. The most high is working, man. That's right. Here in, the, here, here in the States, over there in the old world, all over the planet, the most high is visiting. Matter of fact, I was reading an article this morning. All these wells just keep dying, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just keep jumping out the ocean. I forget exactly where it was, but it was, it was like 51 days. It was like another 20 the, the next day, man. So the Most High is he's visiting this place, man, and 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 the works of the Most High is being manifested all throughout the planet Earth, man. But it's being suppressed. But even though it's being suppressed, it's still happening, man. That's right. You know, it's happening at 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 a, at a rate that these people sweat. can't. These people they won't be able to uh, to wrap their minds around, man. But it's happening, right. and we see it, man. Uh, uh, you know, it uh, goes to that veil, that veil being uncovered. You read it in Isaiah the twenty fifth chapter. It talks about in that day shall shall he lift up the veil. Mm-hmm. So as much as that, as his brothers going into, they try to they try to keep it sealed, man. Yeah. The heavenly Father's orchestrating all these things. Right. You know what That's I'm right. saying? And we're the we're those spiritual newscasters that's out there putting it out there. And you know what's beautiful too, because mm-hmm. like the brother was saying, he saw a try to a credit things happen to Mother Nature, but it's the Most High, man. Yep, that's right. Even though he's trying not, even Esau is trying not to get the Most High the credit. We know through the Spirit that it's the Most High. The Most High is making his presence known, man. That's right. And he's about to make it known to a, to the, to a scale to where there's going to be no denying and no question of who is doing this, man. That's right. It's going to be beautiful, man. In that day, man. Uh, I got some. Just just what you said that villain you just brought up, bro. This is um Isaiah chapter twenty four verse um. I'm sorry, Isaiah chapter 25, verse 7. He shall destroy in this mountain, which is dealing with America, mm-hmm. synonymous with this, uh, this government, the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. That's right. It mm-hmm. that goes into those lies, man. They've covered everything that they've done through their lies. And they do that through sorcery. And we understand that. You know, we go to the scripture that talks about the sorceries that they put out there. That's part of that veil. But through the word of the Lord, those secrets of those, those those lies are being uncovered by the men of the Lord, man. And he's pulling back. And not only are we witnesses to it, but everybody around the whole world is witness to Esau's lies now, man. You can't go to any other country and they don't hate so-called white men now, man. We get to that point where this, this is it, man. The right. chickens are coming home to roost. That's right, man. And, 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 and uh, people are going to want answers. That's right. You know, the people are going to want answers like, like during... Uh, you go into the book of Jonah. When mm. when the storm happened, right, right. all everybody was calling upon their God. All right, and Jonah was in their sleep, and they said, "Wait, my friend, let me read it." And they wanted to know why is this evil fall upon us? All right, this is uh, uh, uh Jonah chapter one, and I'm gonna start at uh, verse four. But but yeah, but Yahweh sent out a great wind. Into the sea, yes. and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was like to be broken. Then the mariners were afraid and cried every man unto his god and cast forth the wares that were in the ship into the sea to lighten it of them. But Jonah was gone down into the sides of the ship and lay, and he lay and was fast asleep. So you can liken that storm. To all the tragedy that's getting ready to happen that's in America, right. man. That's right. Mm-hmm. Okay? Because everybody's looking for answers. Everybody's going to be looking for the answer. And then notice it said, every man prayed to their God. Mm-hmm. All right? And this is, what he, this is what he said to Jonah. He said, so the shipmaster came to him and said unto him, from my Jonah, what meanest thou, O sleeper? Arise, call upon thy power. If so be that uh, the Most High will think upon us that we perish not. And you know why that happened? Because... Everybody had already cast their lots. He prayed yeah. to his God, shit didn't happen. Mm-hmm. He prayed to his God. It was right. like, well, we all prayed. Well, that dude jumped down there. He didn't pray to his God, so they had to go to him to, to answer. But pray to your God so we can get an answer, man. That's right. You know? That's right. And that's right. 
Verse 7, and they said everyone to his fellow, come and let us cast lots that we may know who's, for whose cause this evil is upon us. So they cast lots, and the lot fell upon Jonah. Then said they unto him, tell us, we pray thee, for whose cause this evil is upon us. And what Jonah said, he said, what is thine occupation, and whence comest thou? What is thy country, and of what people art thou? And he said unto them, I am in Hebrew, and I fear Yahweh, the power of heaven, which have made the sea and the dry land. And that's what we're going to tell the people when all, that's what we telling the people. I mean, that's what they asked when they yeah. come up to the camp. Yeah. What did, what's this that's all right. about? Mm. That's right. Uh, and we're, we're the Hebrew and Israelites, we come in week in, week out. That's right. We right. We believe in Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. That's right. And that's what Jonah told them, man. Mm-hmm. You know? That's right. And look, 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 look the men. The men, then were the men exceedingly afraid mm-hmm. and said unto him, Why hast thou done this? For the men knew not that he fled from the presence of the Most High because he had told them. So basically, that's that's going to be the mentality of you people out here, man. You know, especially look, when, when the Most High when the Most High strikes, man, it, it catches people off guard, and then they don't know what they don't know what the hell or what the hell because they know it ain't going to be science. That's so right. Something that they can tangibly explain with that bullshit. That's right. That's right. That's and right. they gonna remember the men of the Lord were saying that this, these things are gonna happen, man. That's and right. it's gonna no. be something that you you won't be able to believe, man. Kinda of, yeah. You know, find it interesting when you look at this uh, situation that Jonah was in and they it, it was made manifest to them that he was linked directly to this power that was doing this. That's right. Know? So when you look at it as Jonah linked to that power that caused that destruction that he was going into, yeah. just as Jonah had that link we have that spiritual link as well. That's right. When it comes to all the catastrophes and the destruction that's played, taking place, the only difference is we call it on it. That's right. Jonah was right. on the boat asleep. You know, he yeah, was trying right. to evade, but he was trying to, yeah. yeah. We over here, like, we want the smoke to come. Because yeah. we ought to really understand right. the Lord is getting ready to come back. But through our constant prayer and meditation, he's answering because of that link. That's right. Y'all might have heard out of preaching. Yeah, hey, you got it, brother. Bring it out. This is Revelation chapter 8, and it just goes into that link, you know. Revelation chapter 8, starting at the top. And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in the heaven about the space of in half an hour. You know how they say the calm before the storm? Yep. You know what I'm saying? Everything cool. Like um, you go into the story in the garden where it says, talking about how they traveled in the cool of the day. Mm-hmm. You know, it was chilling. Yeah. You know, you read it in the end of the third chapter as well. In the corners, you had the kings and all the chilling in their tents. Peace and safe. Hey, just like Noah. That's right. He was yeah. prophesying, and then suddenly the day, the rain mm-hmm. came, man. That's right. You know, and safety. Everybody was talking shit, you know. Hey, it's right. Days of Noah, it was, it was uh, getting in the marriage, chilling, mm-hmm. keeping up with all their fuckeries until that day came, man. That's right. Get you off guard, man. Con, con, hands down. Yep. Mm-hmm. Verse 2. And I saw the seven angels were still before the before the most high. And to them were given seven trumpets. What that that trumpet means that war, man. Mm-hmm. That alarm, man. And get best believe they, they blowing it. They they preparing it a little bit. They you know, you get ready to blow a trumpet and like yeah, sound right. Yeah, you do it again, this get a little better. Yeah. You know, they get ready to sound that alarm. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's right, that's right. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer. Okay, and that censer is what you lay your, your incense on when you put a coal on it, you put it, mm-hmm. that incense, and then it smokes up and gives a pleasant smell. And there was given unto him much incense, and that he should offer it with the prayers of the saints. Man, so, right. so he's likening those right. prayers of the saints not only to incense. But to much incense, yeah. meaning all that's accumulated. We out here that when you go in the highways and byways, when you praying, when you putting up curses, all that incense is accumulating. And now he's saying, look, put this on the censer. Because when you burn the incense and you smell it, it's that pleasant smell you receive. That's right. You know? And then it says, upon the golden altar, which was before the throne, and the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up before the power out of the angel's hand. And that's that link we're going into. You know, it's here in the prayers of the saints. It's that direct link we have yeah. with the Heavenly Father. Yeah, that prayer, prayer, um, so like prayer is good. very, 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 very mm-hmm. important, man. Crying unto the Lord. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When we sit over here, pray, 
Fast, fast, sudden, you right, broke out. Get your hustle. Get your hustle. Get your hustle. Get your hustle. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> but that prayer, is, that's number one, man. That's that, like the brother said, that's yeah. the spiritual link. Yeah. That's the well, link. That's how you communicate with the, the other, other, other realms. Yeah, right. right. through prayer, man. Mm-hmm. You know, because, you know, sometimes you have dreams where you get communicated with, but that's how you have that direct link. That's right. With the fourth dimension. That's yeah, right, man. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know, the other dimensions is, is through prayer, man. Because it's all about vibration. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Verse 5. And the angel took the censer and filled it with the fire of the altar. Like that priest that he brought in Isaiah. Mm-hmm. Now it's received. And now the angel's filling it with fire, right? And cast it into the earth. Mm-hmm. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and earthquakes. Ooh. So we, we see the earthquakes take place. You brothers mentioned the fire that's going on right. in Northern California. Right. We see on the west, the, the, the eastern side, all the, all the hurricanes and the water. Hey, the Heavenly Father's doing this, man, because His Word is coming out, man. That's, right. Right. that's right. right. That's right. That's My right, man. Well, that's heavy, man, because our, our vibration that we push out is directly, directly linked to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shots, right? Every father name in Hebrew is Yahweh, and his son name Yahweh Shai. And so it's, 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 it's uh, what do you call it? Apple of his eye, it's, it's, uh, his precious jewels is out here, man. Crying out to him to fulfill prophecy. And it's, these things are happening, man. Prophecy is being fulfilled because the mouth of the prophets are out here, man. That's right. You know? Plain and simple, man. You know? And every time we cried on to Yahweh by Shemiah Rashad, what did he do? He yeah. sent us a deliverer. Right. He's getting ready to send us the ultimate deliverer. That's right. Every captivity we yeah, were in. Yeah, man. I tell you, when we cried in Egypt, the Lord heard our cries, and what did he do? He rose up Moses. And so on and so on throughout all our captivity. Yeah, Samson, uh, Gideon. And all those men are back. Yeah, all those men are back. All, Jeff, all, all, uh, 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 Cat. Yeah, man. You know, all these judges that the Most High rose up to, to deliver Israel... And he rose them up because Israel cried on him. Mm-hmm. In the name. All right? In the name. In the name. Of Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Yeah, that's right. It's, hey, it ain't nothing yeah, changed, yeah, man. Right. It ain't nothing changed. It's beautiful. Because right. even during the time of Tobit, when Tobit and uh, Sarah was making those prayers, and Raphael came to them, he said, he told uh, Tobit them that your prayers, it was, your prayers was heard before the throne mm-hmm. of the Heavenly Father, man. Mm-hmm. Right? And Raphael told them that, look, Raphael was the angel that came to hear the prayers mm-hmm. and sent them up to the Most High. That's man. right. Mm-hmm. That's so you right. don't think the Most High is hearing our prayers right now? Man. Mm-hmm. That's why I should just say that uh, even when you pray, the prayer that you don't pray, uh, the Most High know within, and he sends those prayers that we don't utter up to the Most High. Yeah, I tell you, that's in, uh, we have Romans 8, right? I know I ain't, uh, you know, verbatim, but, uh, you know, the spirit of it for you. Right, there you go. You know, the spirit, the yeah. spirit brought your prayer to the most high, man. Yep, right. I got some. Um, Isaiah chapter, um, 46, verse, uh, 9. I'm starting verse 8. It said, remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it, bring it again to mind. Or he transgresses. Remember the former things of old, for I am Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and there is none else. I am Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning, from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. And how is that happening? How is that declaration is going out? It was men. That's right. That's, right. That's the only way the Lord declaration what, what he wants done happens through his men. Right. Through the prophets, man. And he's, yeah, he's reminding us to continue to remember the ways of old, you know? Yeah, man. Right. Because that Esau wants to destroy that, 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 that power that we have, the connection that we have with Yahweh. You know, Shai, he wants to think, he wants us to feel that that is uh, irrational to believe in, in, in that realm of, of a higher power, a higher being controlling everything around us, you know? But with the, the prophets are constantly telling us, no, 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 no. Okay. Remember things are old. That's right. Remember what got you here. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Come on. I just got a quick, a real quick, mm-hmm. a real quick. Just going in there. <laughs> Mouthpiece of the Lord. Amen. This is Daniel chapter 9, verse 9. To the Lord our power belong mercies and forgiveness, Ooh. though we have rebelled against him. Neither have we obeyed the voice of our power. The voice. Oh, What's the voice? The prophets. Yeah, the prophets. Mm. The prophets are the voice of the Most High, man. That's right. The Most High ain't coming down here to talk to nobody, man. That's right, right. He raised up prophets to speak to you. That's right. Read the Bible. 
It tells you that all you watch the fight. Yeah. I knew it, man. You see? That's oh, probably the Mario Alvarez. This is Los Angeles, man. I knew it. Mm -hmm. Dude, I mean, <laughs> I blocked everything, man. <laughs> <laughs> You good right now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're back. We back. We back. We back. Yeah, we back, brothers. Yeah, we back. This is um, back to Daniel chapter 9, verse 10. Neither have we obeyed the voice of our power to walk in the laws which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. Booyah! Booyah! And in, the, in Chronicles, it tells you to believe his prophet. That's right. It tells you to believe his prophet. Matter of fact, I got to read a quote. God. Let's read it. Let's read it real quick, man. Because you people think that the prophets are some, they're going to come out of caves, you know, mm -hmm. have 2,000 year old beards and, yeah, you know, yeah. looking like, look here, man. <laughs> nah, man. The prophets is right before you, man. That's right. Let me see the first one. That, that reminds me when they uh, spoke spoke to Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, what if you came to see a prophet? You know, they was expecting some extravagant right. thing that they couldn't perceive, but really it's just a regular man just like you. You yep. know, the Lord's just dealing with him. That's right, man. Yeah, hey, that's what Wisdom of Solomon said, man. You know, everybody comes through that um uh, that womb. So the prophets are ordinary men like everybody else. You have to go that's through right. the process, the circle of life, so to speak, man. So they were ordinary men, living ordinary lives, but they're not ordinary Spirits, that's man. Right. Yeah, that's right. It, it, uh, initiated what? souls. Initiated souls. Mm -hmm. You understand yes. what I'm saying? Yep. Uh, 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 Second Chronicles chapter twenty, verse twenty. It says, "And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness." Now, we in the wilderness right now, oh, spiritual man. wilderness, the proving grounds. That's right. Right. Uh, of Tekoa, and as they went forth of. As they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, "Hear me, O Judah." And this is what this is what the prophets are saying to the children of Judah, as well as the children of Israel. Okay. And ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in Yahweh your power, so shall ye be established. Believe his prophets. Mm. Woo! So shall ye prosper. Right. That's, All right. And that's never changed, man. That's always been It's always, always been, been that, that way, way man. It's, never it's always been that way. <laughs> <laughs> it's always been that way. The Lord always rose up his prophets to come and speak to the children of Israel, man. That's right. It's always been that way. All change. right? And we're giving you the full understanding of the Bible. You know, you want you, you want answers. You want to know why this is happening. You want to know why that ha why that is happening. Why earthquakes is happening? Okay. Why fire is de devouring whole cities? Man. And these are rich cities. The most high. Yeah, yeah. 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 Drugs, but seeing just drop dead. Oh, oh Lord, yeah. how about sitting on the side? Oh, oh, how about sitting on the side? And he's up there, and he knows yeah, that yeah. he ain't shit, man. It's not matter. It's not matter. All right. George Bush was is 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 Yo, he was he's behind that old fucking. He was even he was behind narco. The original narco. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. with, with Noriega, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pablo, and all that shit. That's right, man. Mm -hmm. He's behind all that, man. Because Noriega, you go into the history of Noriega, he worked for Bush, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all know who Noriega is. Know him, know him on the first name? Yeah, yeah. he was uh, 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 Noriega. Uh, uh, Panama, right? Yeah, man. Panama, the Panama deception. Yeah. It, was, it started with Reagan Bush. first, yeah. and then, then Bush took over, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Kind of. You know, and when they was getting busy on Zebulon down there, man. No, it was no, them and shit. It was Carter then Bush, so like Jimmy Carter then Bush. Okay, good, man. Come, come. Come. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we seeing the, the fall of you Edomites, man. That's right. We seeing Esau fucking his fall, man. You ain't finna rise again. Babylon's not gonna be built. Trump ain't gonna make no miracle. Yeah. It's time for Israel to rise and all you heathen nations to get down and to fucking kiss the name, man. That's right. right. The, point, the point is with George Bush, man, because. 
So like with the, the whole Panama invasion, they killed a lot of Israelites, a lot of Zebulonites mm -hmm. with their high tech weapons, man. They yeah. were melting people, man. That's right, lasers. He's a real demon. But he set up and that through the George Bush Senior, that was the first operation in Iraq. That's a storm. Yep. So, you know what I'm saying? That was the, the, the imprint to get it to start getting into the Middle East. Yeah. Right. Started all the way back. And they were trying to control the drugs over there. Yeah. Yeah, it's right. Oil fields. Oil fields, you know? And that's part of that, because prior to that, they was in Afghanistan already. Mm -hmm. And Russia got their asses whooped. So they already had their foot in Afghanistan. It's in Iraq. Then the sun came into power and it made the full push. Mm -hmm. Yep. To where we are today, man. That 9-11 yeah. bullshit. Yeah. That's, that, they, they've always been on that agenda to, to take over the world, man. Yeah. Establish that new world order. New world order. And yeah. he got that famous speech. Yeah. It's not a new idea. Right. Yeah. It's a new world order. Uh -huh. Right. So that's a real demon, man. Yeah. 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 He even wanted to put the new world on the front for Man. Yeah. That's right, you know. Yeah, he had that speech, that yep. famous speech. It's not a new one, yeah, yeah, bro. Right, new man. war. I saw that video. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Mm, yeah, man. The rabbit hole is deep, man. Yeah. Hey, yeah. you just drop fucking dead. Yeah, they're all crazy, man. Yeah, yeah. You know he ain't shit. Yeah. Uh, you know he ain't shit now. Yeah. <laughs> you know he ain't shit. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> you know he ain't nothing but a goddamn key, Mike. Yeah, yeah, waiting yeah. on, waiting on uh, change for slavery, man. Yeah, man. He knows that now. You know, he don't matter in the spiritual realm. All right? Don't yeah, matter, man. I got a good priest that just going into that shit. Yeah. This is uh, uh, Isaiah 44 and uh, 24. It says, Thus saith Yahweh, thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb. I am Yahweh that maketh all things, that stretches forth the heavens alone. That spread up abroad the earth by myself. Yeah. Point. Let, me, let me say this real quick. You got to break that down. Because the way the Most High stretched out the heavens was through His Son. That's right. And, and the, all the other spirits on the yeah. wind and His friends. Angels. Yeah. Because the reason that. Yeah, the elect. Because the reason, reason why it says alone because Yahweh gets the credit. That's right. You know? That's right. Bro. Yeah, man. That's right. That's right. Everything is <clears throat> done in the name of Yahweh, man. That's yeah. right. He's the first we got. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. through him, everything else was created. So he gets created. Yeah, yeah, I was shot at first. We got right. Yeah, 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 right. Most right, guys, just like, most guys, like uh, the football team, you, you, had, you had that one the Super Bowl, but who gets the trophy at the end? The owner of the team. That's right. right. He didn't play one one down, right? He didn't, he didn't catch no football. Yeah. He didn't throw one football. Mm -hmm. But when they, they you hand the trophy over, who's it go to? The owner. Yeah, yeah. never see him. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only time you see him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's right. He, he written everything. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Everything was already blueprint, like y'all said, blueprinted, mapped out, and everything's just playing its course. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Verse 25. That frustrated the tokens of the liars, and maketh diviners mad, that turneth wise men backwards, and maketh their knowledge foolish. That's speaking about Esau, man. Ooh. No, Ooh. Most high this new world order shit ain't gonna pop off. It's gonna pop off to a degree. He gonna chip the, all the undesirables. Man. That's all scripted to, to be chipped right amongst the Israelites, man, and all you heathens, man. But as far as him uh, 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 securing his enterprise, it's not gonna happen, man. Oh. The Most High's gonna throw a monkey wrench all in that shit, Esau. You ain't finna, you ain't finna ride off into the sunset. No. Your new world order is not finna uh, uh, prosper. You gonna fulfill oh, it? You gonna create Satan's kingdom here on earth, man? No. It's not going to happen, right. man. <laughs> like, 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 like through the spirit has been going on through the last couple of weeks, you are not written to win, man. man right, you man. are written to get hey, flushed down the toilet, man. Beautiful, man. We, it's right. written to Israelites. The underdog is going to win, man. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, right. because you got to remember the apostles and the, the, uh, the disciples, they read uh, Deuteronomy 28 right. 68. That's right. <laughs> yeah, man. They knew it. They knew it. <laughs> this is why, uh, <laughs> was it Philip? We 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 found him whom Moses and the prophets have written about mm -hmm. because they read Moses wrote the book of Deuteronomy, mm -hmm. so they they knew about the, uh, the 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 Messiah coming, man. They knew it was a prophecy prophecy that we were gonna win in the end, and we looking for that man right. that's gonna come, and we supposed to hear him, and he's gonna do all these miracles. Right, and remember, they uh, found him. Right, they found. Remember the disciples of John asked him, said. Um, are you he that we looking for? Or do we look for him? That's heaven? right. And Yahash, Yahusha said, uh, tell him that the, the, the sick is being healed, the lame walk. That's right. You know? As a matter of fact, man, we got to He basically that. said it without saying it. He basically yeah, said, said it, look, man. Dumb, that's what you see. Dumb, dumb speak. Actions speak louder than Right, you know? So, so there you go. 
That's your answer right there. You got beat that, man. You got beat that. Man. All right, I'm, I'm going to read this next verse, though, because it's going to go into the prophet, baby. Verse 26, that confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers, man. Who was that? The prophets, man. Everything that started from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down to us younger brothers, the most High is confirming the words that we are saying, man. He's speaking about World War III coming. We see it happening. He's speaking about the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast for all you yeah. monkeys out there, man. You we asshole. see it, man. We see it physically manifesting itself, man. Yeah, spiritual shit. Yeah. He saw no spiritual dude. Yeah. He saw the physical pocket, man. Mm-hmm. So he has to implement Son a physical position, a man. physical Mark to put in you, man. Mm-hmm. That's right. Come on, man. Get out of here, man. Well, no. yeah, that's the only thing a way he can justify it. Right, right. You know, because he doesn't believe in the spirit of God. Like right. That. No. That's right. why he has to go and, and dig up and research every goddamn thing, man. Right. He has to see the physical proof yeah. of anything for him to believe in, man. That's why he gave up his birthright. Yeah. That's right. He's carnal, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he, was born, he, was, he was made that way. The spirit, it, mm-hmm. there's the scripture says, the spirit that's in him is not upright. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're a fucking loser, man. <laughs> it's a third of you. You just you losers too right now, man. You right. follow after his way. And guess what? You're going to let him put that mark on you too, right? right? Physically, like the Yashu, Elder Yashua was going to do. He's physically going to fuck the two thirds, man. He's gonna physically going to put that mark physically in you to make you his property, man. That's right. Hey, and that's why the scriptures say that, you know, when you go into Revelation, uh, the 13th chapter about the chip, He's going to do the whole, he's going to, this mark is going to be uh, pushed upon the whole world. Ultimately, because Esau don't know who, who's the elect, man. And he knows that Israel's been scattered across the whole planet. So he has to attack the whole planet with, with, with this mark because he don't know who, who's the elect. Beautiful, right. man. Right. I think something with what? Planned Pyramid, the vaccinations, been the trying. chemtrails, been trying. the fluoride, trying to, get, trying to kill the elect. That's his whole M.O. Right. right. That's right. his whole yes. M.O. Was to stop the elect because cause they knew the elect was going to be raised yeah, up. Yeah, they going to be raised up. They send their archaeologists. Right. They know the Bible's real. They know that Israel is kind of like the earth, yeah. looking right. like other nations, been spread amongst the other nations. Right. Right. So he has to push this chip on a whole worldwide scale, man. That's, That's right. why the Lord said preach this right. gospel to the whole world. Mm-hmm. So you know Esau knows that. So Esau's like, look, we got to put this chip on every goddamn right. right. We don't know who the elect are, where they're coming from. Right. God. That's right. That's right. Said, How we seek counsel of the wicked? Right. Yeah. It's a reason. It's a reason why Esau dug up all the bones from the prophets and our ancient kings and everything like that, man, yeah. and scattered them under all the all the stars and everything which they worship, man. That's because right. let's say we had valuable proof, which we don't need it because we are. This is our valuable proof right, right here. Right. But that standard will be set up so much faster. They know what the deal is. That's why they have to go out their way so much to try to cover it, man. Yeah. And they see us out here on the highways and byways teaching, and they know. Like, oh man, their last resort is putting that chip inside of us, man. Right. Because that's Esau's way of putting him over us. For the example, Elder Yashawama goes into this, talking about how in the kingdom, when that time comes, the Heavenly Father's going to place his laws, statutes, commandments within us. And that's going to ultimately make us completely his property. We'll operate 100% off of the vibration. Right. We'll never go off. Esau, being the carnal man that he is, is trying to implement that because his birthright was carnal. You know what I'm saying? He, he needs to have something that's tangible, so he's going to put something tangible inside of you to have you claim to be his property, man. Right. right. You know, that perpetual yeah. servitude, like the Apostle Cabal went into a few days ago about that oil, man. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. right. And you kill everybody else off that don't comply. That's right. And it's beautiful how the Spirit used uh, Adam Abbott. To, for, for brothers to go God and be right. deeper into God the, 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 uh, the, 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 the mark of the beast. That's right. right. That's you know what I'm right. saying? <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but the elect will have the, the mark spiritually. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, We're yeah, going to yeah, have yeah, the yeah, spiritual yeah, mark. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And the Lord oh, said to him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set the mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry. For all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So this mark right here is a spiritual mark. Alright? This 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 links up with the word the walk. Those that's gonna be exempt from judgment. The mark that Esau's Esau's gonna bring is a physical mark. Karagma and incision. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Not rocket science. This this is a physical mark versus a spiritual, spiritual mark. mark. Right. Good is set against evil, and evil is set against good. Hey, and, and, and you know what's beautiful about that, that spiritual mark is that even if you kill a member of the elect, that spiritual mark is still going to be upon him 
Yeah. Yeah. Esau can't take that away from, from, from the elect, man. It's eternal. It's eternal. It's eternal. Yeah. Right? Because the physical mark, they put the chip in you. You can try to dig it out or whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. But if you got that spiritual mark, you can't, right. you can't yeah. take it. We don't die, man. Yeah. Yeah. You about to be immortal. Right. Well, you can't right. give or take a spiritual mark. The most I have to yeah. give. Yeah. Right. right. You, yeah. can't, <laughs> you can't grab no wand and flag yeah. it down. Right. And, oh, here it is right here. Right. 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 Nah, it don't work that way. Right. Uh-huh. That's why you gonna lose, nigga. Esau. There's no, there's no, no way around it, man. We are, the, we are the kindred of the sons of the living power, man. That's right. That's right. If your brothers get a chance, check out that movie, Kin. Oh, just yeah. Uh, What's it called? Yeah. Kin, yeah. Kin, yeah. Kin, Kin, I am. Links up with kindred, a lineage. We're the lineage of Yahweh Bashmi Shark. And you gotta watch the whole movie. The, the elect. You gotta watch the whole movie, and the end is gonna be like what the. I mean, we got angels uh, with us, man. You <laughs> gotta watch it. Yeah, if you would be elect, Salak, bro. Yeah, Salak, my bad. You got to Now, I'm saying, if you were be a part of the elect, you got angels with you, man. You got angel or angels with you, man. Huh? Lead that, man. Yeah. yeah. That, that's fact. That's that's scriptural. That's right. right. The spiritual right. realm is real. That's yeah, right. yeah, man. It's the carnal society. This shit sucks, man. Like, it tries to make you <laughs> think that it's not real. No, man. Yeah, man. The spiritual yeah, realm man. is real. It's all around you. Yeah. Things are going on in the spirit constantly. Yeah. That's why they put all these distractions in front of you, oh, so yeah. you don't have to worry about it, man. It's a reason why you'll be sitting there studying whatever happened. You'll hear something drop, or when you're doing some bull, excuse me, let me do some bullshit in your life, and something will happen right at that moment. Yeah. And it's that reminder, like, damn, it is. Ain't, it's yeah. really angels around us, man. And hey, that's yo, the reality. That's right. That's right. Your whole life, you yeah. had something. It was something. Just something that. You didn't, you couldn't put your finger on it. Okay, but it was pulling you. It was pulling you. Like, yeah. Ah, you know, this ain't right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This yeah. is bullshit. I'm not going to go with this bullshit, but right. I know it's bullshit. Right, right. 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 It was something always pulling you. Yeah. Now we yeah. know. Right. Yeah, right. you know? Yeah. It's like a physical lesson. Oh, no. Yeah, you got it. You got it. 26. That confirmeth the word of the servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers. That say unto Jerusalem, Thou shalt be inhabited, and to the cities of Judah, ye shall be built, and I will raise up the decayed places thereof. The house of David, man. Mm-hmm. That's the house of David being built right before your very eye. That's right. the decayed places, man. Right. In the house of David, it's synonymous with the northern and the southern kingdom That's being right. brought back together. Yeah, man. You God. see that happening, man. You see it, man. Where, everywhere where Jake is, the decay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Literally. Yeah. Hey, right here in the margin, it says, literally wasted. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Everywhere mm-hmm. where Jake is, it's wasted. Yeah, right. All around the world. Yeah. You know, but the Lord is going to uh, 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 erect the elect out of those decayed places, man. Mm-hmm. Jake going to wake up to who they are, man. Right. And then when things that. pop off more and more and more, you're going to see more and more fruit. Yeah. You're going to see more and more people uh, bend the knee to the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man, and know that, hey, look. I need to get out of get out of the way of this this freight train that's coming that's called judgment. That's right. You know, I need to repent. Uh, what Esau got going on is falling, and we're seeing. It. Right. So you're gonna see more and more people come in, man. We can't be mad at those that those men that come in later in the morning. Right. at the last second. Right. We gonna refuse. We're gonna get out of here. They don't that's right. right. That's right, man. So that's why I don't. You know, it don't matter uh, what watch you come in. We all gonna receive the same same, the same penny, man. Yeah. You know, same pain. I have to This is uh, Zechariah chapter one, verse six. But my words and my statutes, which I commanded my servants the prophets, did they not take hold of your father? And I'm going back to the beginning. But the most I said that if we didn't keep his laws and his commandments, all his curses was going to fall upon us. Did not? Did, did that not happen? Yeah, man. Did we not live Deuteronomy 28 chapter? Man, still living. That's you know, right. you can't take all of it. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. We still living it, but now you know. We, you know, we, we don't live that, but now the elect, we live in life now, man. Now we live in, 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 in right. We live in that newness of life. We live in accordance to that new creature, man, which is that expectation of salvation, man. You know, like I was, uh, I did a video this week talking about, you know, now you in the spirit, man, you should be having more spiritual W's than L, man. That's right. You should be doing the right thing more than the wrong thing, man. It should be like a second nature for you to be doing the right thing more than taking L's. But if you do take an L, it should be a lesson, man. That's right. That's right. It right. should be a lesson learned to where you, 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 you might fail, but you, next time it happens, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to high jump that motherfucker. Well, you man. take it cheerfully. Yeah. Because the scriptures tell us to take, take our tribulation, and um, you can prepare it cheerfully, man. Yeah, man. And so now instead of being all, all shucks and, 
Yeah. And, yeah. You, you know, you like get stronger from it. Yeah, you like man, yeah. that fuck Satan. Yeah, man. You know, you you, you, you learn to adapt. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> you learn to adapt. I got something for just that. Yeah, so to the point, that. like your your all oh, your senses being exercised, your mind getting stronger. Your patience again is stronger. You call yeah, Satan right, right when he did. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Or, when you, or, 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 you know what it is. Right. Or, or, or when you make a mistake, you're like, damn, I fucked up. But you know what? Next time, I'm going to ace that. Next time that comes my way, it's going to be nothing. I'm already going to, I already been there and done that, so I already know what to do, man. You right. got these dudes in the spirit that'll, that'll fuck up on something, and then they come back around and fuck up again, and fuck up again. And fuck up, it's like, come on, man, you got to learn how to, you know what I'm saying? You, you got to grow. You got to grow. You got to be able to make one mistake, and then next time, you ace that motherfucker, man. You, gotta, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You already know when it's coming. You feel it coming low. Satan, I know Satan's coming right now. I got something for his ass, man. Yeah, I'm about to make the right decision. Yeah, I'm about to be dealing according to the spirit, man. And those order to show you, man, the most I show them is Satan is around through numerology for me. I don't see I know seeing mean. like six, six, seven, mm-hmm. all that shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Shit like that. I know you know what I mean? Yep. Yep. All, all the kind of ways. ways. Yeah, all kind of, kind of ways. ways. Remember that? Remember that day? Uh, that demon? He tried. To, he was trying to put some curses. He was saying some shit. A little Asian. The most high he put a song on that told me to get the hell out of here. I forget the I forget the song, man. Yeah. But the spirit was telling me, man, rebuke him and get the fuck out of here. Everything is spiritual. And everything man. was and it was crazy, man. The Lord, the Lord will speak, man. Yeah. And if you walk in the spirit, you're gonna hear you it. You're gonna hear it, man. You're gonna hear it. Tell you. He ain't gotta show his voice, but he gonna speak. He gonna have them angels show you around everything around you, like, look, this is what it is. Yeah, you You could be in a place, and then you chilling. You might be having a drink, and and then a plate might fall. I need to get out. Yeah. And you gotta listen to y'all about you. Hey, because spirit, you gotta judge. The, uh, the, yeah. the, you gotta judge everything as being spiritual, man. Spiritual mm-hmm. man judges all, that, all, all things. things, man. Uh, all something things. happens, you like. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know what? Fuck that. I ain't gonna take a chance. You know, yeah. <laughs> same thing. Like, man, you all right? Yeah, you right. Yeah. 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 Like, you know what? Fuck that. Nah. I'm gonna take that first. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you, know, you never know. You right. might stay there the most. I'm gonna be like, all right. Yeah. That's why the scriptures yeah. say wisdom shall meet thee in every thought as well. Bro. All right. Beautiful. 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 When, when you're operating with wisdom, and wisdom is dealing with you on more of an intimate level. The closer you get to them by trimming, studying, reading, being around the brother's spiritual conversation, yeah, you'll be able to spot these things out and notice when Satan's being petty. And not only notice when Satan is being petty, but noticing how you operate when he is being petty, how you take it. Mm-hmm. If you go, oh man, oh, Satan, oh, man, this bitch asked me you. Like, man, that's Satan. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, because it's going to happen. You know, I, I, I gotta back you up, man. Yeah. Guns, guns. This is one of my favorite chapters. Yeah, you know, yeah, about this. Yeah. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6. Uh, verse 12 it says Wisdom is glorious and never faded for weight Yea she is easily seen of them That love her Man. And found of such as seek her Easily Easily seen It ain't a hard thing That's if right. you love her right. It's obvious when you hear that plate fall <laughs> Or when we talk about something right. You know us being spiritual male All of us gonna be like that's safe man yep. And as a common person gonna be like Oh man did the plate just fall right. That's right. Right. Yeah. 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 Cut 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 it says, uh, she prevented them that desire her in making herself first known unto them. Mm. Whoso seeketh her early shall have no great travail, for he shall find her sitting at his doors mm-hmm. in his mind. Okay? That's it right. says, to think there, therefore upon her is perfection of wisdom, and whoso watcheth for her shall quickly be without care. For she goeth about seeking such as are worthy of her, this is what you, you quoted, verse, show up, show up herself favorably unto them in the ways. Right. And meeteth them in every thought. Every thought. Every thought. And earlier, it said, can you read that part about Bob Gasol, about without cares? Yeah. Uh, it says, uh, this is verse 15, uh, the last line. And whoso watches for her shall quickly be without care. So if you're seeking after wisdom... <laughs> If you're trimming those lamps like we're supposed to do, you see, after whenever Satan does try to mess with you and be petty on certain That's situations, right, you ain't gonna be like, man, Satan, man, I'll get yeah, mad, yeah, complaining. 
it's gonna be like it is what it is that's because right. that's the that's the that's nature right. of this nigga, man. That's right. You know, we understand that being wise men, man. And then within that, wisdom is meeting you right there in that thought. Yeah, and and cool. when you when you deal with wisdom, because this is as the elder read, she's right there at your door. You gonna constantly meditate on that, and you are gonna constantly black Satan off when he tries when he does try to do that, man. Because right. that be coming, man. Right. But hey, man, he got a boss at the end of the day. Hey, and that's sometimes right. you know, Satan comes. Sometimes you got to just let Satan have it. Sometimes, but, all right, you got it. Man. <laughs> Hey, I ain't fucking with you. I ain't dealing with you. I ain't finna try to tangle with you. Nope. And, and, and get into some shit with you. Hell hey, no. you got it. I'm out of here. I'm gonna take That's the, right. I'm, 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 I'm gonna take the load, and I'm gonna just go about my business, man. That's right. Get the fuck away from you, cause I ain't finna. I ain't dealing with you, man. You know. Mm-hmm. That's how the Lord dealt with Satan when he was passing. Before he did, he said, "Hey, man, I'm gonna take the load. 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 I'm gonna take
the one to the other. That's, that's right. the battle, man. That's constant that's right. battle. War right. and members. Mm-hmm. The left hand side is constantly trying to attack the lust of your flesh. Yep. Satan knows the things that you really enjoy in his part at, at part carnal. So he's gonna constantly attack those things. Yeah, yeah. And hey, and when you grow on it, you you recognize it and how you gonna deal with that. You know, or are you gonna will to the wills of your flesh? Or you gonna allow the spirit to have, have you overcome the wills of your flesh, you know? Yeah. Hey, uh, like no, no, no. Go ahead. I was about to say because you know, when you came into this truth, that demon that left you when you came into this thing, that nigga's always coming back checking up on you, man. He's always coming back around seeing if he can get you to oh, yeah. fuck up in the spirit. He's always coming back to see yeah. if he can get if he can bring those slew of demons that left you when you came into the truth to come back into the party, man. That's right. And that nigga be throwing all type of curveballs at you, man. That's right. He just hey, uh, just like that movie Fallen, man, with Azazel, man. You know, that, the demon that left you, he'll hop on somebody to oh, fuck with you, man. Yeah, Try to get you to do some dumb shit. That's right. And you be seeing like, say, oh, I see your ass, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see your ass. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 straight up. And, you know, like, people don't see that physically with their eyes, but through the spirit, through the most high. He'll sense it. He'll, he'll, he'll show you those things, man. Walking in the spirit. That's yeah, right, man. So you want to feel the lust of the flesh, man. Man, and, and that demon I hopped off that first, and next thing I further to apologize, bro. You know what, man? Man, yeah. that was me, man. You like, yeah. you like, oh, good, bro. I know you don't understand the uh, yeah, demon is hopping on your dumb ass. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. Man. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, man. That, that's the uh, conditions of the battle at the end of the day. You know Ooh. what I'm saying? Satan, Satan, will try. Like this, this thing, man. That's that's why you, you see why the heavenly father is a man of war, bro. You know, when you're in warfare, I've never been in the military, and that's the things that I've heard, man, you on constant alert mode when you're in the military because you have bullets flying from different directions. Yeah, when you're so, overseas, not when you're in the military, when you're overseas, they're the okay. country. God, what? The, the, the level of fucking intensity yeah, like raises that. up. Your alertness raises up, God. Yeah, that's like right. that movie Platoon. Yeah. to Heart always folks said, uh, keep your shit wired tight. Right. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. And how we do that, man? Through the spirit. Through the spirit, man. Walking in the spirit. That's how we keep our shit yeah. wired tight. Get clipped. Right. You know? right. If you ain't wired tight and you out there and bullets is flying, you gonna get clipped. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You gotta explain what's wired tight, brother. So <laughs> about spiritually. Yeah, spiritually. Yeah, that's what I said. Through the spirit. spirit. Walking in the spirit. That's us being wired tight. Man, you know? man. That's yeah. how. That's how we are wired tight. Praying, fasting, fasting studying. Right. Yeah. Working out with yeah. us. That's all. That's all. You know, fast praying fast and study, study is the main thing. That's right. Okay. You know, mm. that's right. And, and, and it all stems to pleasing your house by shooting out shot, man. If you have it in your mind always to please your house by shooting out shot, right you going you going flush that fleshy straight down the toilet, man. I got a precept. This is a Second Timothy chapter two, verse three. It says, "Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of your house shot." No man that war entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. What's the affairs of this life, man? The lust of the flesh, the eyes, you know what I mean? Boy. Everything that's trying to get you to, 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 to fill those lusts of the flesh, which ultimately leads you to being us sinful, man. To going against the most high. And that's everything that this world offers, man. This world and this current situation is an attack on the senses of wickedness on all the goddamn time, man. Mm-hmm. The moment you wake up, you turn on the TV, you listen to music, you go to work, you constantly in that war, man, and, 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 and Satan is trying to get you to fuck up, man. But when right. you focus on who you fighting for, who you living for, which is your how about Shimmy Shot, you focus on the battle, man. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. I'm going to put a piece up for you. Kinda. This is uh, Galatians chapter 5, verse 19. It says, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these mm-hmm. adultery, America. Ooh. Right? Because black culture you know, is being pushed on the right. right. Oh, on a music, music way, music. man. Right, yeah, that music is, is, is a spell. That music is a heavy, heavy spell on hey, the you know, music goes back to the word muse. Muse is like a muse back in the Greek was like something that inspired you to do shit. That's right. And that music inspired you to do a bunch of goddamn wickedness. Right. Sell dope, kill some, kill your brother, mm-hmm. fuck his woman. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, and I fuck your bitch. Yeah. And I fuck your bitch. That's why that's, that dude, you have a whole goddamn class from a kid. And I fuck your bitch. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. thinking that shit's cool. Hey, that, that ended oh. up being their whole, mo- their whole motivation for the day. Yeah, you know? Uh, uh, one of the songs, uh, you reminded me of it because my, 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 uh, my son was singing it when it came out. I was like, you know what you're saying, that song, I'm in love with the Coco? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to tell him, I was like, do you know what you're you, you singing? What you saying? He didn't know. Right. It's a vibration. Like, right. but it's a vibration they putting out there 
And look at the kids now, right. man. They all fucking doped up on everything. Brother, you know? Mm-hmm. At my old job, when I used to work with mentally disabled adults, they were singing that shit. I'm in love with your whole girl. It was this one oh, bitch named uh, Kelly. She was mentally yeah, yeah. retarded. I told her that story. Yeah, 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 she was singing that song. I'm in love with your whole girl. I'm like, Kimberly. Her name is Kimberly. Kimberly. Do, 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 do you know what that means? Chocolate? Yeah, that's what they thought. 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 I'm just showing you, man. If you see a rapper drink hot chocolate, right? <laughs> that goal, bro. I never, never lived in America. Uh, yeah, it says, now the works of the flesh are manifest into these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, which is huge, in our, especially in the in Israelite community. Right oh, now, we're, uh, we're, we're going into the so called holiday oh, season. Oh, yeah, man. And, 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 and very demonic, man. You know, we're in a high time of, uh, uh, of idolatry, man. And that's one of the top Illuminati's uh, sacrifice time frame, man. Um, December 25th, I think, around that time frame, they'll send like different body parts of human people that they sacrifice to each other as gifts, man. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a mockery of Yahweh Shark. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. going to the word Christmas is Christ's mass death of the anointed. Of the anointed. Mm-hmm. So that's how they celebrate on the left hand side. So this is a very, very demonic time full of idol- full of idolatry. You have a Christmas tree in your house or your apartment, that's idolatry. That's Nimrod's penis, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they you talking about Santa Claus, that's Satan. Oh man, it's, it's crazy, man. Mm-hmm. The, the the wreath that you put on your door is a is a vagina, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it all, it all goes back. Yeah, man. You're yeah, not just doing it, man. Right, right. You know, it goes back. It has a history. It goes the back. ways of the heathen. Know that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know. Now, mind you, what I'm reading now are 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 the works of the flesh. Yeah. We're talking about the works of the spirit, works of the flesh. Right. Like being spiritually minded versus following the flesh. Well, they give us warning of these these, these things of the flesh. They can manifest themselves in you yeah. that you gotta watch out for, right? Idolatry, witchcraft. When you talk about I'm in love with the cocoa, yeah. you know, going, right. going, going into that witchcraft, that former kid, you know, kid. you know, all those different drugs and things like that. And Esau tells you when you watch TV that's cool, it's okay, it's okay to take this pill for this, take this pill for that, do this, do that. Right? Can't right. wait for them demons, man. Hey, Cialis. Hey, look, 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 and that, shit, that shit ultimately all goes back to uh, the serpent. Mm-hmm. You should not show me that. Mm-hmm. Right. You can deal with these things. Come on, man. Man, that's Have beautiful. Have fun. Live life. That's you know beautiful. What I'm saying? Don't, uh, indulge a little bit. Mm-hmm. There's certain things that our people ain't supposed to indulge in, man. And what he's supposed to offer all that shit. That's what? Kind of. And what's the uh, the symbolism of the freaking paramedics? The oh. Caduceus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The serpent, man. That's right. But they use that. That caduceus that they use with the oh, the cross for the the serpent is really oh, shot, shot yeah. man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But they use it on the left hand side, man. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the highest level mm-hmm. of understanding is the dragon, and that's Yahweh Shah, but Esau, left hand side of that, man. Mm-hmm. It's certain. Right. You know, mm-hmm. right. 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 And that's that hatred, you know? Which that's very prevalent in this in this nation. That's right. People hate each other, man. You know, they hate everything. It don't matter what what if you if you wearing something or something that they don't like, they hate, they mad. You don't look a certain way, they mad. You don't talk a certain way. You do you you know, you have a certain job, they mad. They people hate each other, man. Yeah. Variance, which differences, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, reveling, and such like of that which I tell you before. As I have also told you in the time past. I've been telling y'all about this, That's though, right. man. That's right. Uh, <laughs> that they would do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the most high. That's right. I'm telling y'all, these whole ass niggas that doing all this shit ain't gonna make it. Right. right. That's right. That's right. So he's like, look, man, don't hey, don't be like that, man. Right. And that's what we do when we on the highways and byways, we teaching uh and, and preaching. Look, man, don't be like that, man. Right. Don't have these qualities. 
Let those things off. Hey, hey, and all those things right now in Babylon are at the highest, highest level, man. Level that they have ever been on right. since there's been a, 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 a kingdom on the planet, man. Right. right. That's why our people two thirds are so immersed in that oh, shit, man. Uh-huh. Bro. Yeah. That shit is that value. You know that shit is up, that's the life that side. shit is. It's raised back to the fire. To the magnumness. That's it. Yeah, right. Right. Fire, and you right. cool if you doing those things. Right. You cool if you that nigga. Yeah. You know? Because yeah. That, that's describing a nigga right there. Yeah, exactly. Man. That's describing a nigga right there, man. And you, exactly. if you a real nigga, you doing nigga. all that. Yeah, you know? Mm-hmm. To the highest. To the highest. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, yeah. I got a piece of that. Uh, verse verse 22 it says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, Peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. And that's within the body. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because people, yeah. these people always come and tell me, why don't y'all preach love? Why don't y'all preach love? We do preach love, but it's must be a left. It's not a muscle wicked. We don't love the wicked. Right. right. We're not we're not one and one with the wicked. Yeah. Now we're, we're gonna preach unto the people that are wicked and the spirits on them to come out of that wickedness. Yeah, then they they're gonna receive it. But us rebuking the wicked, that's love. And that's what the these people don't understand, you know. That, that's why they cater more towards when we speak against the wicked and they get offended because that's the main stuff that they hear. The reason why they don't hear about all the joy and the love and this and that because they gravitate so much toward wickedness. Yeah. And once the stuff that we talk about, it hits their spirit right, right. then and there. Right. They're cut. They, the they, they, they live right. with John wickedness. The third they live with wickedness. And it's like, like, and if you if you live with somebody, right? And then me, somebody you don't know, like, man, that whole ass nigga that you living with, bitch ass nigga, you know. You like, who, who you talking about? <laughs> you ain't talking about my homie. Yeah. And that's how they look at wickedness. Nah, you ain't gonna talk about wickedness like, exactly. like that. Exactly. That's how I am. You know, right. I ride with it, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's why they get so upset with it, man. Mm-hmm. Okay? Because we're enemies. We're enemies, right? So that love doesn't dwell there. That love ain't talking about everything and everybody, man. Okay? And then it talks about meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. Right? Why is there no law? Because it's right. Right? Sure, right. Man. Okay? Um, and, and they that are, uh, are uh, Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. That's right. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. Mm. That's the energy that this place thrives on, man. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, America provoking one another, envying one another, acting like you they partner, and talking behind their back right afterwards, man. Killing somebody for what they got. All those wicked, all the wickedness of the spirit that the brother just read, man, that applies to what you see here in America. You know? That's right. Yeah. Real quick. That's right. <laughs> like, that, like that white bitch said on uh, uh, Rosewood. <laughs> <laughs> Right. This is Genesis chapter 6, verse 11. The earth also was corrupt before the Mosai, and the earth was filled with violence. The Mosai looked, looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. For all the flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. Ooh. And what did he do That's after that? Hey, what, 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 what did the Lord do after that? Hey, but it's come full circle. It's come full circle. It's come full circle. 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 You know, now she's about to get boing. That's just right. come full circle and we'll finish that, but or, or get to the meat. What did the most size when he looked on the earth and he saw that the earth was corrupt right, and right. full of violence? What did the most size say he was gonna do? Verse, verse uh, 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 we'll start verse seventeen and and behold, I and even I do bring a flood of waters mm. upon the earth to destroy all flesh. Wherein is the breath of life from under the heaven, and everything that is in the earth shall die. Mm. So what the Lord did see the see but the most high, what he did was he made a promise he wasn't gonna flood it again. Right. But he didn't say nothing about fire. Alright? Right. Because he said this same earth is preserved onto fire. Okay? okay. If you know that that precept is where where he says uh the, the, the world that's the world the world is destroyed before of water, but this same with, it's, it's kept in the store, store, kept right, store right, onto yeah, fire. Right. See, the Lord gonna he gonna flood this place with fire, man. No, when you think about it, 
Those are two very, very Don't nobody want to die like that. Horrible way of dying. <laughs> Don't nobody want to die like that. that yeah. Y'all browning and burning? Don't yeah. nobody want to die like that. Who is talking about it like that? The right. yeah. paradise. Yeah. The Edomites, yeah. that, that the most high, just like that Edomite that uh he got the Lord let him get away so he can go back yeah. and explain it. Yeah. And yep. he yep. went to the site where he was at and he showed all his friends burned to a crisp <laughs> in their vehicles. <laughs> Burned alive. You know how much torture that is, man. Burned till you till you just stop. <laughs> you know, <laughs> to, to, to a crisp. You moving all crazy, and then you just slowing down. But it's still painful because your spirit is still in that body. Yeah, man. yeah. You know, don't nobody want to die like nobody that. Want to die like that. Don't nobody want to die drowning. Right. <laughs> you, 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 you just water entering every fucking yeah. orifice that you had. Yeah. And, but you can see you, you trying to make it out. Yeah, bro. You can't torture, breathe, man. and it's just painful, man. Most high is bad, man. Most high is terrible. Yeah, terrible, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we were just talking about that today when we were driving up here. Yeah, I, I, I there was an earthquake, but some fuck. yeah, we were talking about yeah. some tsunami and some shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like a movie Deep Impact, man. Yeah, yeah. Do a, little, uh, a, a, a thousand foot wave is getting ready to slap on the land, man. You can't do nothing, man. You can't do a goddamn thing, okay? You know? Judgment. Do we have anything else? Uh, yeah, we're about to get that one in Peter. Okay, okay, okay. we'll get ready. Yeah, we'll get ready to close it right now. Okay, close the purpose. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's, oh that, that part right there was in verse 7. Okay, good. I'll read it. I'll start at 5. It says, um, it's the second Peter chapter 2, verse 5. And spared not the whole world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. So Noah was doing the same thing we're doing, man. He was right. a preacher of righteousness, man. A lot of people think Noah was the guy that was there just to build the boat forever, man. Yeah, right. No, he was a prophet, man. That's right. He <laughs> prophesied right. for a long time. He, just, right. like, just like we letting them know that fire is getting ready to get thrown on Babylon, a.k.a. America. Noah was back then letting them know that, look, y'all finna drown like a mug, man. It's yeah. for the fire, um, uh, water's finna fall from the heavens, and y'all finna drown, man. It's beautiful, too, because back then, it never rained, so it was like, nigga, please. <laughs> yeah. Just like now, we tell them it's about to rain missiles. Not on well, America. Yeah. Well, not, yeah. well, America is the virgin daughter of the Exactly, right, man. It's that great. Yeah, the greatest military. So they can imagine this place being invaded or being hit with missiles. They'd be like, what? Not America. Keep dreaming. Right. You the problem. Right. Oh, oh boy. Oh, that's what happened. <laughs> okay, nigga. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. Condemned them with an overthrow. And, and is not American spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah? Exactly. Yeah. Is it, was it not Sodom and Gomorrah an, an example? America's about to be that same example, man. That's why it's going to be burnt, man. Mm-hmm. It says, It condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. And delivered just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. We coming in that spirit. You know what I'm saying? Um, you even read it in Revelation, the second chapter, when the Yahweh when John is getting that bitch from Yahweh and he's talking to all those churches. And he's saying, you've hated evil, you've hated all these things, you've done this, that, and right. the third. That's the right spirit that you're supposed to be. And you're supposed to be vexed with everything that you see down here, man. And that's supposed to thrive us and want us to push more for the kingdom of heaven. Right. You know, especially when we know this place is reserved for fire. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, what? Sure. Like, bro, it's going to happen. Reserved, man. And the Lord's going to give him no rest till he meant Jerusalem. That's right. Earth. Verse 8, for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing... Vexed in his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise governments, presumptuous of they, self will, they are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. I mean, which is, you know. That's like two thirds, bro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Two thirds of little pop tarts that's popping up now. Yeah, GMO. Oh, GMO, boy. GMO, yeah, GMO, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the mark of the beast is car, is uh, what, what, the spirit of truth and all that Fuck shit. Fuck out of here, man. Speaking of talking about Foster Hart going with all the gym that's need to make the breakdown. Fuck you niggas, man. Yeah. That's what that's talking about, man. Yeah, these yeah, 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 ye
Or was that what you told me? I, I had something too, but you know, it's, okay. I mean, go ahead. We we, we what you got, then we we just ended out on that, on that one in peace. Okay, okay. You know, this is Isaiah chapter nineteen, verse fourteen. The Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they that caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggered in his vomit. That's, that's all these philosophies. That's right. That whole vibration out of you guys. Yeah. They, 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 they're in the sunken place, man. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's just like when you have somebody that's drunk. Yeah. They've been drinking too much, man. Mm-hmm. You know, they're stumbling all over the place, yeah. and eventually they vomit it all up, man. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah. And when, when you're drunk, you say a lot of things, you know. You say a whole lot, all that stuff comes up out of here, mm-hmm. and since it came out, since that it was on your tongue, you have to give account for it. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's be, be very perverse, you know. Exactly. Yeah. That, that's why you read it in the book of Daniel. It talks about. Um, it pretty much talks about the that, how he uh, spoke great things. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that goes towards actions, but these things that you speak, you're going to have to give account of it for in the day of judgment, like that drunken man, mm-hmm. that perverse spirit that's here. Because it's perverse, so what's the ultimate way to cleanse it? It's through fire, man. The reason why I want to bring it up is you brought your precept out mm-hmm. about all those different attributes of a nigga. Mm-hmm. That's that perverse spirit, man, and the only way to deal with that is mm-hmm. fire. Man. Right, that's right. right. Yep. Urging them out. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was it. That's, That's it. it. That's it. Okay, okay. Con. Uh This is Second uh, Peter chapter three, starting at verse five. It says, "For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of the Most High, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished." Right. Because these people now they have all the information to know the things that we know. They hear us. They, they hear us speaking every week all around the country. Above and beyond that, you know, when you go on the internet now, any t- time that something's popped up, and you read the comments, it's going to have something negative or something going against it, man. And so these people are willingly ignorant. That's right. Are willing. Yeah. Willing. Yeah, that's crazy. Right. Just like the, all the information that came out about 9-11, but people still talk about 9-11 as if it wasn't an inside job. Right. Knowing that it was. Man. Right. They were willingly ignorant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right, man. Ahead, Verse 7, it says, But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Hey, and it's right. crazy, too, right? Because Esau, Esau knows about Sodom and Gomorrah. This nigga will take you there and he'll show you a documentary all about Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> right. How the land is filled with sulfur and shit. He'll tell you that. Look, the pillar of salt, she's still there. This nigga know that Sodom and Gomorrah was blasted by the most high. This nigga still <laughs> carry on. It's like Sodom and Gomorrah, man. Yeah, this nigga's a fucking idiot, man. That's why you call the majority of people shadow, man. Yeah, man. She, man. It's crazy, That's man. Right. She's right. Right. Yeah. Esau knows yeah. that Sodom and Gomorrah the Gamora literally existed, but this thing is still carrying on in that same spirit, man. That crazy, man. He's yeah. psychotic. He's <laughs> psycho. Yeah. Hey, but hey. Man. Into that, man. Hey, man. All praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, or Kapodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, salutation and blessing to the whole four left. Lord will, brother, just edified and lifted up. In the spirit and power of your heart, Bashim Yahushua. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.